you know, Vig, we're, uh, we're not all Yankees all the time here. You know, we, we do like to touch on the other sports, especially local ones like, uh, like football and the New York Giants, which are obviously our favorite team. And we know a ton about other sports. It's just that right now it's Yankee season going into postseason. Right. I mean, right now, exactly. We're high on that. Football, right. everybody's watching football. We're, we're, not, we're not missing a game. No. And so we're not trying to, you know, try to show that image. Yep. But, uh, you know, we're getting into the playoffs in baseball. That's why you're seeing more Yankees post. But um, don't, for, don't think that we're not paying attention to the G-Men. And the G-Men just had a huge victory over the dream team. <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles, according to Vince Young. Uh, did you see the win coming? What do, what do you think? Uh, I thought the uh, the Giants would absolutely be competitive. I think going into the game, you probably were feeling a little more negative about it than I was. I was, I was negative. If for no other reason, that Vic was banged up. Okay. For me, when you have a top 10, top 15 quarterback, it is, a, a, it is light years ahead when you plug in a bottom 15 quarterback into into the same system. Agreed. Uh, especially at this day and age where everything's so pass-oriented and Andy Reid is so pass-oriented, although he's getting a little more balanced this season. Um, so I, I felt good about the, uh, the, the, the Giants' chances, but that being said, the Giants have been known to completely implode. So I did think that the, uh, the Giants absolutely had a chance yeah. to be competitive. Did I see the win coming? No. No, I, I didn't see the win coming either. And no. uh, I mean, let, let's be honest. You know, we're, we're Giants fans. We're not trying to hide. The, the Eagles have uh, owned us recently. If I'm not mistaken, they had won six straight against us. That's and we play them twice a year. Yep. So that's that's three full seasons of victories. Yep. And we went to Philadelphia. They were, I believe, an eight and a half point favorite. That's a lot of points in the NFL. Even though Vic was coming off the concussion, that's what I meant. You know, Vic coming off the injury. You're right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you're right about that. I, I think a lot of us, uh, like myself, kind of downplayed that injury. Um, you know, kind of said, you know, if, if, there, if he's well enough to be on the field, he's well enough to be that top 10 quarterback. Yeah. Uh, I agree completely, completely with what you said about the difference between a top 10 and a bottom 15. It's the one position on the field that has the greatest impact and uh, has the it's biggest variable between the best and the worst players. You know, your, your third string left tackle can do the job 95% as well as your, your all pro left tackle. But uh, you try throwing in your, your Kafkas of the world to replace Vic, and there's a big step down. Even from a from an Eli Manning perspective, you know we always talk about you know Eli and he has some flaws, and I, and you know I always go back to, yeah, but he manages the game. I feel very comfortable with him as a one of the top fifteen quarterbacks in the league. Right. Is he paid? Is he his brother? No. Is he Tom Brady? No. But the fact is that we don't have Ryan Leaf starting a quarterback. Right. You know we have a serviceable and actually above average quarterback and therefore I feel like the Giants always have a chance to win. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, there's not too much to say here. It's, it's one victory. It's, it's early in the season, so there's a lot more to go. And you'll see a lot more here on Fitz and Vig. But uh, as long as Eli doesn't turn the ball over, which has always been my biggest problem yeah. with him, yeah. uh, you know, there's no reason we can't be competitive with our strong running game and, and a solid defense that has been nicked up but still solid. Uh, you know, Jason Pierre-Paul, a guy who, if you've been reading Fitz and Vig, you know I love. Yeah. Owned Vic. That was a beautiful thing. Um, You've been high on him since draft. I was uh, very high on him. You know, look at Cam Newton. I pick about one guy a season, and, yep. and they usually pan out. Cam Newton's my guy this year. Um, so yeah, I, I think it could be a, a little bit better season than we thought here in, in Giants land. Giants two and one. Eagles are one and two. Yep. Dallas. Dallas uh, just beat Washington last night, so I believe they're two and one also. Two and one, and as is Washington. As is Washington. So I think that's right. So um, you know, hey, we're, we're three games in and, and all wrapped up. Toying costs. That's right. Well, you know, Eagles, one and two. Is that what we said? One and two. One and two. So, hey, you know, the dream team. They remind me a lot of the 2011 Red Sox. They do. They do. Best I, team ever. I wanted to get that Red Sox reference in there. That was Absolutely. important to me.